Fire danger signs are a familiar sight for many Aussies, but soon, you won't see the usual ones around the country. A new fire danger rating system is coming into effect on Thursday in an attempt to provide more clear and accurate information to people around the country during bushfire season. The previous signs had six categories of danger, low slash moderate, high, very high, severe, extreme and catastrophic. Read more, NSW, act expecting low fire danger this summer, other states at risk the new system has just four, each of which has an accompanying action for impacted communities to take moderate, plan and prepare high, be ready to act extreme, take action now to protect life and property catastrophic, for your survival, leave bushfire risk areas the new system, which has been led by the NSW Rural Fire Service, Bureau of Meteorology and Australasian Fire and Emergency Services Authorities Council, is nationally consistent, removing some of the previous inconsistencies between jurisdictions. It is jointly funded by all state and territory governments and the Commonwealth. NSWRFS Commissioner Rob Rogers said the new system will provide clearer advice to the community. Across Australia, we have seen the devastating impact that fires can have on communities, and the new fire danger rating system will give people living, working and travelling in bushfire-prone areas clearer and more accurate information about the risk they face. The new ratings will be displayed in communities across the country from tomorrow, such as on websites, smartphone apps, social media and on roadside signs. Last week the National Emergency Council released a state and territory prediction for the upcoming spring and summer fire season. Meteorologist David Jones said fire conditions will be less severe across most of Australia due to the unprecedented rainfall. The report predicted some states can expect a below normal bushfire risk during spring but others will need to prepare for a growing number of grass fires, 